During the 2004 DARPA Grand Challenge, only seven vehicles successfully navigated the obstacle course over the entire week-long event. But this year, the first round of the trials demonstrated remarkable progress as 11 vehicles completed the course and none better than Stanley, Stanford Racing Team's robotic Volkswagen Touareg. Stanley achieved the only perfect score of the day, finishing the course in 10 minutes and 38 seconds without missing a gate or striking an obstacle. But perfection was not far off for Cornell, whose robot Spider clipped only one gate. And although more than 10 minutes slower, the Desert Buckeyes from Ohio State also putted along to a near-perfect run. Other top performers in round one include Princeton University's Prospect 11, Xbox from Colorado's Team Mojaveton, and Navigator from Florida's Team Seamar. Both of Carnegie Mellon's Red Team robots, Highlander and Sandstorm, easily completed the 2.2-mile course, as did Desert Tortoise from Intelligent Vehicle Safety Technologies out of Littleton, Colorado. Spirit, created by Westlake California's Axion Racing, also found success, as did the big fella, Terramax, showing 16 tons of precision, passing some gates with less than 6 inches of clearance. For one reason or another, however, the rest of the field failed to complete the course. For many bots, obstacle number one was a major hurdle. Blue Team's Ghost Rider also smacked into the first gate. But amazingly, it gets up and continues the course. How's that, ladies and gentlemen? And give this motorcycle a round of applause. Ghost Rider falls victim to the narrowing hay bales, but it's not alone. The hay wreaked havoc on many robots some handling it better than others. The tunnel became a black hole for a few vehicles as they entered never to emerge from the other end. There are worse fates than entering a black hole, and sadly, a few of these robots discovered what those were. Some could barely make it off the line, while others were completely out of control. Despite the miscues, the first round results are very promising. Vehicles in the Grand Challenge qualifying event can run as many as six times, so for those who failed on their first attempt, the game's not over yet. 20 vehicles will move on to the $2 million Grand Challenge Finals in Prim, Nevada, where they will attempt to complete a 150-mile desert course in less than 10 hours. It's never been done before, but with this strong field and a little bit of luck, we may see a champion robot cross the finish line under the hot Nevada sun.